Where was the trauma? Dang it, all these dang feathers shedding everywhere. Keep that phrase out your non-existent mouth. Riska, donde esta? Whoa, okay. What is that? Oh, you totally got traumatized. And we are back. Hi, everyone. This is Jen. Welcome back to more. Yes, Homestuck Beyond Canon. Here today for the September update. At least the first of the two September updates that we're having. Oh gosh, I this update came at like a very good time, I guess. Uh, I was, as when the update announcement came out, hold on, let me zoom in. I was currently, I was watching Randon Nuring playing through Doki Doki Literature Club for the first time. He had just reached the point where he had confessed his love to Sayori the day before the school festival. And I don't know, that seemed like a very good time to dip out. <laughs> now that is traumatizing. Okay. But very glad to see you guys all here. I was getting a little worried for a second there. I was like, we're almost halfway through the month and we haven't had an update yet. Okay, uh, all right. But video files are all set. Hopefully I'll be able to get this out before Sunday. Please, before Sunday. Okay, but we looks like we got our monthly check in with James to read. So let's get this show on the road. Hi, James here. Another month, another set of updates. Good lord, we've been in here a while. Well, we're almost through, lads. Last one was a bit of a rough time. It has come to my attention we should have been more explicit with the content warnings. That one is on me, my bad. I think in the future if something has, as serious as that, I will need to be more explicit about the warnings. Okay, um... I mean, it, this may just be a personal thing. I didn't think it was that bad, dog. I didn't think it was that bad. But then again, homestuck trauma for me, I, I kind of like, that like bypasses me. I'm like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club, no. Then again, uh, we kind of left Sayor the 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 leaving Sayori hanging. Um. Ugh. Uh, okay. Anyway, on the sixteenth at ten a.m. Pacific time, the official pre-order for the Car Cat plush will open up. We'll make the usual posts to socials, etc. I'm very excited about this. They sent us one in the mail, and he's just as ridiculous as I hoped. Big ups to our art director Kim for spearheading his design. We want to do more. I mean, I'd honestly want to do all of them. We'll see. We broke Makeshift's petition record. I wonder if we can break the pre-order record too. <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> As usual, I've been posting tracks about upcoming updates for paid members over on Patreon. Since we decided to give away the commentary and the behind the scenes stuff for free after a while, we've obviously sort of de-incentivized a monthly membership. Yeah. Yeah. To that end, I'm always looking for ways to boost that feeling of it being worth it for those who choose to join. I will say the Patreon has directly funded being able to experiment with format and do the fun sort of mini sound pages we've put out. Will we do another multi-chapter visual novel update like this? Okay, probably not, but it's been kind of exciting to see what we can do with the limitations of the tools and the format we have. I want to see what else we can do, and that requires time. Thank you for allowing me to pay the very hardworking team for that time. If you have ever been on the fence about it, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you with that decision. All right, not much else to report on for now. 
See you again next update, or drop by and say hi on socials. Hmm. I mean, no, I can't really say anything, because I feel like I'm kind of in the same boat when it comes to my Patreon, where I'm like, I'm not really putting too much stuff out there. I really need to just look at like other people like online like who do like similar things to me like w what they do for their Patreon and just copy them at this point. But anyway that's all for the September check in. Doesn't seem like they've been doing the bi-monthly. They've been doing them only once per month so we might not have it this time around. Ooh that reminds me I gotta update I gotta update the uh, the RenP engine thing. I forgot to do that. Yeah, because it's still locked. So let me just get that. Do do do. Kite da 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 da. Do do. Reload. Nope. Loading time, taking its dear sweet time, waiting for it to finish. Loading time, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's been updated and you may notice. Oh, they got little things. That's cute. But you see, they added a section directly for the prologue and slash chapter one. So that has its own little section here. And it's in a little hourglass with Vriska's sand, with Vriska colored sand. And I thought this was like non-selectable, but it looks like it is. So we got one, two, three, four, and X. Do we just skip in chapters five through nine? We're just going straight to 10. But it looks like we're going to have a Dave Petta episode. Hey, stop preloading game files. Get out of here and shut up, phone. You don't know me. Quiet. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if you heard that. Oh, and they have the... Oh, the new chapters don't appear. Please try clearing and refreshing your... And it shows howtogeek.com. <laughs> I'm a silly... I'm silly. Lol. Does that mean at like the end, like once we get chapter, like this chapter with the eight ball, like up and running, will that get deleted? Will that stay there? I don't know. <laughs> Probably it'll delete and they'll replace it with like the little arrow to like move on to the next page. But who knows? Anyway, let's get this properly put into frame. Yes. Okay, let's get into this. Chapter X. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> try not to break into Hamilton. The room where it happened. <clears throat> so I guess we're just hanging out with the sprites then. I turned up the volume extra loud this time around. I hope that we can actually pick up some of this like good background music that has been escaping my system. Just a tad lower. I don't know. I te it tends to be like quieter than I expect. So let's do it like about here-ish. Let's see. Does that work? I think that works. If not, I'm so sorry, people <laughs> in post, which would be me, and I'm sorry for people after post, which would be the audience. Anyway, <laughs> Dave Pretty Sprite. That's a lot of words in like a s in small words. Okay. DP hesitantly crawls up to their phone, curiously pawing at the device and feigning ignorance as though they don't know what the F it is because they're kind of embarrassed to talk to the sprites thing, sprite squares they know is at the other end. Wait, so the sprites have phones? Well, I mean, it makes sense for, like, the player's character kids to, like, have some sort of, like cell phone device for their messaging because they had those so those phones wouldn't just disappear into the ether it's not like they smashed their phones upon becoming sprites but who is on the other end 
DP musters the strength to slowly inch a claw in the sc to the screen. Will they answer in time? They're low-key starting to catch the vibe that the ring t of that ringtone, though. They might F around and toy with the vibe. Having a grand old time like this vibe. Whole time the vibe's fears for its life. The vibe is trying to play dead, but that would never stop old DP. Uh-oh. Dude. Just answer the freaking phone, you obnoxious a-hole. <laughs> yeah, I will. Sorry, man. What's shaking? Oh, hey, it's your sort of sister. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I clapped my hands loud and that peaked the audio. Freaking, I forgot. <laughs> Jasper Rose Sprite is in the middle of, like, one of the, like, side stories. Yeah, this isn't, like, the dad's side story. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, no, I don't have a Ro Jasper Rose voice. Fricking A. Okay. <clears throat> I, I do remember it was like Oh no. Okay. Hello, haven't heard you it's rude haven't you heard it's rude to keep a lady waiting? We were like half that, ma'am. I bet you were doing that thing where you start role playing out loud to yourself about picking up the phone instead of just picking the dang thing up. Um, Nippa. <laughs> Gotta admit, Jasper Rose is, is a really cute sprite, dude. It's super cute. <clears throat> I was beginning to think I wouldn't be able to get any service. What with all the interference from the plot points, hyper concentrated, essentially field, and. <laughs> Okay, the plot points, hyper-concentrated essentiality field, and Midnight City's super plus, plus situational canonical deniability. Yeah. Deniability. <laughs> I hate that I understand what you're saying when you're speaking like this. Isn't it delightful? Well, to reduce our word count and need our poor brain biscuits till since you've been gone, we just call out the plot point now? The point now? How delightfully quirky! Let's get ours, shall we? Get to ours, shall we? To the point. Personally, I've been having a wonderful and incredible time. Other than the Crocker Patriarch and the, his new tall, dark, and loathsome bow, bow hounding us? <laughs> Wait, are you- No, you're not shipping Diamond Droog with Dad. Oh, well, I know people have, so I shouldn't be surprised, but is that an actual thing? <laughs> they put on our tails this whole night. In my opinion, this operation could do with a pair of hard-boiled hall monitors filling the night air with pheromones, gunpowder, and the scent of Barbasol. Ugh. Hey, downing cold drinks and dodging hot lead. My Midnight City certainly doesn't disappoint. <laughs> Just bros, you've been drinking? Please. You know it's only milk bars for me. Well, perhaps the occasional martini bar. Through, though with them, it's more difficult to find bartenders that won't bat an eye when I order a glass of that delectable <laughs> matronal ambrosia. I, I, mm, <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I mean, the first thought on someone's mind probably wouldn't be like, how old is this child getting this martini? And more along the lines of, this person is half cat, part octopus, <laughs> part magical girl. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't get a paid, I don't get paid enough for this. Speaking of, I've made fantastic progress with the enchanting yet problematic Ms. Crocker. That's right, Jasper Osprite abducted Jane and basically was like, Jane of 
the of the meat universe and it was like hey if you don't get your act together you're gonna turn out like the candy verse universe of you and she's like i don't have a clue what you're talking about and, she, and jasper rose is like yeah don't question it just go with it baby like hitting on her at the same time <laughs> Enchanting yet problem problematic. <laughs> That'd be your favorite combination. Guilty as charged. Sigh, it's almost a shame we'll have to pass her off soon. Her politics are still a little eyebrow raising, but they won't raise any torches or pitchforks yet. We also had some developments from my new favorite foppish lunk, the inevitable Mr. Ing the in inimitable Mr. English, though he does seem to be locked in the particularly stubborn throes of his broken-hearted malaise. I'm confident I can tear past the pitiful plush exterior and reveal the fragrant potpourri of heroism that lies within before a curtain call. Okay, Rose, whatever you say. Therapy speed run. <laughs> Sounds like you've had a real eventful... Er, how many weeks of development has this been? I wasn't fully pouring attention. I don't know. Are each of these weeks like actual weeks? <laughs> Are these months actual months? Because we've almost reached the year, like uh, the year mark for Homestock coming back. Weeks? Oh, Dave Petta, we've only been out on the town of Single Sensual and Lightning Night. Anywho, while still on the subject of the stubborn and problematic, how goes your work on the linchpin of this operation? So the sprites are all in on something, huh? Well, I mean... It's going. Dang! That bad? JR, we're effed. <laughs> but who shot JR? Anyway. Well, actually, we're probably fine, I guess, since it's like hyper time. So it's probably in the grand scheme of crap. Uh, but gosh darn, it's eight steps forward, seven leaps back every session. This therapist stuff is not easy. Hmm, yes, the way you smash the third eight ball indicates you have unresolved feelings about your father. <laughs> Joke's on you, she don't have a dad. <laughs> Oh, you don't have a father? Our species doesn't even know what the F that is? Well, F me, then I don't know. You'd probably be way better at this than me. I would. Yes. I'm in hell and you don't even care. <laughs> That's gonna be a quote. I'm in hell and you don't even care. <laughs> Turns out hell is trying to get Friska Circuit to change her mind. <laughs> Yeesh, and you've been putting this for how long? Well, on the outside, it's only been like maybe an hour or so. What? <laughs> Which would translate to centralized point time CPT as maybe about four years. Oh no. Four years? What have you been doing there for four years? DP slides up against the doorframe all slick like, folds their arms, cocks their head forward, dropping the sage just enough to you steal a glance at their rightly coveted neon gander bulbs. Chillin! Chilling. Yeah. That's all you've been doing. Chilling. Pretty much. Incredible. I suppose it'd be in line with her particular brand to extend her stay another four years. Uh, can you imagine? Uh... Four years later, I'm not... Oh! Wait! Was that it? Was that it? <laughs> okay! Just a little intermission. Okay. <laughs> Wowza. Okay. 
But yeah, that was fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So, oop, gotta turn off this extra desktop audio. I should really just try to remove it, but I'm afraid if I do that, it'll destroy the one that's in the other scene. Oh gosh. I don't know how this works. <laughs> yeah. Crazy business. And we're just getting closer to the final little bit, the final section of this session. And then most likely the big one, the big sound page. Funny how they said like, what you, what have you, you've been here for four years? And I'm like, well, I mean, like, technically the break in between, like, the inter, the, like, uh, the last update <laughs> before the big old, um, shake up and restructuring happened. That was about three years, not four, but... <laughs> Oh gosh, this is gonna be a shorter episode than I thought. Goodness. I'm not used to episodes only going like, t like these reactions only going for like 20 minutes. But I really don't have anything really going on. <laughs> Nothing on my end, really. I mean, hmm. I mean, I could, hmm. Could say maybe a little bit of stuff. Been messing with like some art programs lately. And one of my friends has been trying to like push and prod me into like getting back into making comics again. She's like, hey, you you know that like comic that you made in like high school? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, the one that you like rewrote the like whole script for and i'm like yeah she's like you know you got the entire script already written for it and i'm like yeah and she's like why don't you make that why don't you make it i want to read it and i'm like aki please <laughs> i'm I, you don't think i'm not working on that behind the scenes i mean i still need to work on my character art man i need to work on some turnarounds <laughs> If I don't know what these characters look at at e like at every possible angle, I'm not gonna want to draw it, dude. <laughs> but yeah, she's like, oh my gosh, you should just get into the, the webtoon canvas side of thing, webtoon canvas side of things. And I'm like, calm the heck down, girl. You're skipping some steps. <laughs> oh gosh, so that is definitely a thing. Let's see. I mean, in about 15 days or so, it will be Crimson Ruse's birthday. That could be interesting as well. Should I draw something for him? I haven't drawn stuff for any VTuber, but he's like my homestuck bro. He's like my brother from like another mother. <laughs> so, <laughs> ah, that was cringe to say out loud, but I don't know. Could be interesting. <laughs> oh gosh, I just thought of something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm keeping myself away from a certain rabbit hole and I'm going to do my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best to stay out of the rabbit hole. <laughs> love in deep space. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay away from love in deep space, though hypothetically, if I were to get into love in deep space, I think I would be a Zane girly. I'm just saying no, nothing against the others. Like absolutely nothing against the others. I'm a little annoyed by Raphael. I just said I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> oh gosh. 
And I also need to like, I'm also like looking into like self improvement. I'm gonna try to learn to improve on my tone of voice so I don't sound so sarcastic and biting all the time. And also I'm gonna be working on like just general getting along with other people like situation, less petty. I'm not a petty per, I wouldn't say I'm the most petty of persons. I do not go out of my way to make anyone feel awful or bad. And I really actually haven't experienced like that much. Like I, I tend to get along well with my superiors, okay? I tend to get along well with coworkers. There's just like the like one to like, 5% of people that I do interact with who just happen to be higher up than me where I'm like oh no we don't get along that's not a good sign they're gonna make my life hell so that I'm gonna have to like work on as well it's just for good for improving just myself in general considering I'm most likely going to have to work retail for the rest of my life <laughs> But anyway, enough of my rambling. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to listen to the rambles. If you did, be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I'm just seeing if I can make the button light up at like the bottom of the screen. Because if you say subscribe, it's supposed to light up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all in the next update, which will happen later this month. And then... Probably on the 8th of October, we're going to have the big old sound page. And let's see if I can find something like special to do for that. Cause it's like big old sound page. So it's super important, but also it's like, it's, it's a year. It's, it's been a year since they like brought Homestuck back and they seem to be trying to make it for the better instead of trying to make it for the worse. <laughs> Lol. Oh my gosh. But yes, thank you guys so much. I already said that like three times, but I mean it when I say it. I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Hey there. Consider becoming a patron, just like the phenomenal Alexandra Modellan and Dash.